me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh! 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 Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? Head for an armadillo, friend. What is your name, friend? John Morrison. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me? How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. Good Lord! It's those scoundrels once again! You're killing me! Get back on the damn road! Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for.
<laughs> ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! All right, boys, let's move it out. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of if only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times are changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel-mouthed bunko artist I've never met. Vultures. I see him. Martin, you and Eli go check it out. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Let's go! Let's stay on this road. Maybe the folks at Ridgewood Farm saw something. Scumbags must still be around. Come on! Come on! Their trail leads to Ridgewood Farm. Come on, let's hurry! Sons of bitches! No 
good reason for that to be boarded up. Break that door down. The rest of you, get your guns ready. Holy sweet mother of mercy. in the back as soon as it looks clear. when the coast is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmer.
Jack, you'll be needing this. Stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! <coughs> Hog time. Let's get him to jail. You 
got anything interesting, friend? Come on, let's get this over with. Lord, this is nasty. Howdy, mister. You won't find anything Jewish made in this establishment, sir. A fine choice.
Anything else I can do for you? I'd say you got yourself a bargain there. All the best. Jim Murphy. How are you, mister? We got the Second Amendment for a reason, don't we? The marshal ain't no man in my eyes. I'm thinking that we're mutually beneficial. That's good, thank you. You okay, lady? My husband's missing. These bastards won't do anything. But he's a good man. He don't drink nor lay with whores. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. Let me guess. 